so I actually got into photography because I, I grew up in a small town and it seemed like the most viable option to get me out of here. It didn't take long for me to realize just how amazing where I grew up was and it was actually the main source of a lot of my inspiration. You know, I would grow up exploring the, the coastal hills of Big Sur and the dirt roads around my house and that open space was a, was a huge thing that became really important in this type of work that I do and ultimately I was doing art in high school. I, I kind of love this idea of exploring my creative side but I hadn't quite found the medium that was right for me until I picked up a camera and when I did it was like it was like this perfect extension to my body. It was everything that I wanted to create, and shoot, and, and make. And, and, and so the moment I picked up a camera, I was like, this is it. Like, I could take it anywhere. I could take it to the mountains. I could take it to the ocean. I could take it into social settings. I, it was all of a sudden, it was like what I was waiting for. And um, that was kind of the moment it dawned on me. Like, hey, maybe this could be more than just something fun. Maybe this could be more than just a hobby. This could actually be like a career. And so I sort of poured everything that I possibly could into photography. I mean, I quit my job, I quit school, I was 19 years old, I moved into my car and I told myself I'm gonna give this five years. And uh, it's been 13. I remember, you know, the first time I ever heard about CBD, I was like on a road trip climbing with a friend and I was telling him how just like worn out I was and, and how I had such a hard time sleeping. And he was like, man, you should really check this stuff out. You know, it's just coming into the market and it's been changing people's lives. And I'm like, this is way too good to be true. And you know, the one thing people know about me is I just have this kind of endless reservoir of energy and I tend to like tap into the, the reservoir a lot. And, and I came home and I researched as much as I could about it, started looking online. And I actually realized it was really hard to find any company that was that transparent. And I finally came across some information, some articles, and sort of some some information that felt like I was really getting the full picture, and that was Medterra, and I, I've been using the product for as long as I can remember now, and it's, it's actually been something that like has changed my entire regimen of kind of how, what what's possible, you know, like, I think as a, as a person nowadays that spends, you know, 90% of his time out on the road and putting himself in harsh conditions, constantly on planes and subjecting yourself to harsh conditions, you know, crazy temperatures. Um, your body's kind of constantly thrown into sort of a whirlwind of, of, of just everything that's out there. I feel like there are certain things in my life that really ground me and being able to like rehabilitate myself in whatever capacity I can, good sleep, um, cutting down inflammation, being able to kind of like isolate areas where my body's just feeling worked after a long day. That's really where CBD tincture and topical cream has made like a huge difference in my life. Like if there's two things in my dock kit that never leave me, it's, it's both those. Um, and even to the point where like I will not go on a plane without it because I know that if it's a 14 hour flight and I need to chill out and relax and let my mind just sort of like comprehend what I'm about to go into, like that's the one thing I really rely on. And live without limits to me, it's pretty simple. It just means embracing what comes your way. Don't set expectations. I think that the reality is that we, we tend to live our life in this way where we go to places with an expectation that it's a failure if we don't experience these things, right? And ultimately, like, we've kind of lost this idea of embracing uncertainty. Everybody's expectation of what success is is a little bit different. And I think that for me, by just learning to stay open to whatever opportunities come my way and embracing it wholeheartedly, this, I guess, to me, live without limits really just means learning to embrace uncertainty.